As we start a new year in 2020, we are asking ourselves the question in reference to the Pardo case, how do we prevent CPS from abusing innocent children and families in Texas? And obviously one of the answers to that question is we need to change the laws to protect these innocent families and children. But part of the problem is not really the law. In the Pardo case, CPS admitted under oath in court that they had violated the law in regard to the investigation, they had violated the law in regard to the family plan, and yet there were no consequences. So part of our problem is that we have judges, in spite of running on the cam uh, campaigning on the fact that they want to simply follow the law and enforce the law and not legislate from the bench, that too often these judges simply do whatever CPS asks them to do. In this case, Judge Gray uh, issued an order to remove Drake uh, when the attorney representing the family had not been notified and was not present. She only got CPS side of the story. Judge Chitty, in spite of hearing no evidence to support CPS case, gave CPS what they requested, having uh, control and custody of Drake for up to a year. And then finally, in the, in the final hearing, uh, Judge Gray said the only reason she was returning this child was because CPS asked her to. We have a problem with judges in Texas who campaign on following the law but simply do what CPS asks them to do. I hope you'll sign up for our emails as we uh, vet judges and try to help us elect judges who will uh, work to protect innocent families and children in Texas. Click on the links below for more information and thank you for helping us keep Texas families free.